Welcome home fragrance fans. I'm Bobby Jo, independent Scentsy consultant. Today we're actually going to go over the five bar harvest um, collection that Scentsy came out with in September. This is uh, how they smelt in my home and how my sniffer liked them. Uh, just remember everybody's sniffers a little bit different but these are my own personal reviews and they're very honest but first I like to go over a little joke with you guys um, so I'm afraid for the calendar its days are numbered <laughs> A little joke for you. Now, if you're just here for the humor, it's okay. Just like and subscribe to that button down below. But if you we, but if you actually want to hear a little bit more about the Harvest Bar collection, then stay tuned. Um, so the first one I actually picked up was White Pumpkin and Driftwood. So Sensi says that this one is uh, white pumpkin and driftwood burnished by white cardamom and warm solar amber. Uh, some of these I've actually went through already. Only have four bars left. This is, I don't even, it's, the best way to explain this one is a little bit masculine with a little bit of pumpkin that's how and a little bit of sweetness to it so sweetness masculine pumpkin it is one of my favorites um so when i was warming it um so on a cold sniff i would say that it kind of out of 10 the strength of it would be i don't know seven and then on uh warm when i warmed it uh, it was a good performer. Um, it did, you know, die out after a couple days. Um, but I would say that it was about, it warmed. Per, uh, and I have an open layout. My house is extremely open layout. And I warmed this upstairs. And I would say that the throw on this, again, I would say about 7 out of 10. So this one I really enjoyed. Um, the next one is Fallen to Love. Now, Sensi did come out with other items of this, um, including the uh, Home Fragrance Spray. Love that stuff for carpets, dog beds, bedding, whatever, blankets, pillows. Um, I actually really enjoyed that as the, uh, the Home Fragrance Spray. Uh, the scent itself is fall into love fresh orange peel and cool eucalyptus embrace sweet balsam so you can definitely smell the sweet balsam or the yes the sweet balsam and the eucalyptus i find the eucalyptus some people don't like eucalyptus it's not overpowering i like the balsam though you smell a little bit of the orange but not so much it is just this fresh uh, sweet balsam scent it, it's actually very very nice I really like this one on cold sniff I would say this one was not overpowering about a 6 out of 10 uh, however um, on warm this one's actually surprised me for the long longevity of it. So I would say that it stayed, again, open concept. I put this one downstairs and uh, I, I usually try all of my um, scents he pots out with about two to start off with because I kind of want to know how strong they are in their, their throws. Uh, and so I did the same thing with all of these Harvest Bar collections, including the White Pumpkin Driftwood. I started off with two. Um, so this one I did two, and I, I, I said after two days, I was still able to smell this one. It was, of course, a lot lighter, um, but it was so pretty, like just this nice, fresh scent. Um, 
I really enjoyed this one a lot. And I would say when it was warming, I would give it like, I don't know, the scent throw was about a six out of 10, but that six out of 10 stayed, I would have to say for um, the longev longevity of it was pretty good. Uh, I really enjoyed this one a lot as well. The next one is Forever Fall. Now this one was Baked Pumpkin and Cinnamon Stick Celebrate the Sweetness of the Season with a Dash of Brown Sugar. So on the... You can, hmm. See, I thought there was some kind of orange in here, but there isn't. It doesn't say orange at all. I don't know if it's, you can smell cinnamon and maybe it's the baked pumpkin I'm smelling with the sugar, the brown sugar, but I really thought it, there was some kind of orange in here. Now on cold, I would say that this one was a seven out of 10. Yeah, on warm, um, this one I had, where did I put this one? Upstairs. And so very open uh, concept layout. And um, this one was pretty strong. Like I would say the first day it was like, an, like eight, nine out of 10. However, I was not a fan of this on warm. Like I probably, <laughs> I probably won't order this one again. I just was not a fan. Um, I felt that on warm, it smelled extremely nutty. Um, and I am not a fan of nuttiness, even though it has no, like no, uh, it, it has no nuts in it whatsoever. I just, it, it smelled extremely, like when it was warming, nutty to me. And that is a smell I don't enjoy that much. So um, I probably will not be ordering uh, Forever Fall again. Um, but some people I know love this scent. Um, this one actually, for me, petered out quick, quickly. Like the second day, I did not smell it it didn't have the first day a very good throw very strong um second day i kind of smelt it um but it was a lot less strong um but i wanted to remove it because it just wasn't a fan i wasn't a fan of this one so this one um it will be uh i can't even i won't even use this one <laughs> again but again this is just my own sniffer and I don't like like nutty smells even though it has no nuts in it. I don't know what it is. I'm thinking maybe it's the baked pumpkin with the brown sugar that I'm not liking. Um, but anyway, that is a forever fall. The next one is Dutch apple bread. So this one, um, when you first smell it, the best way to describe this is when you open up a can of apple pie filling. Um, that's how to, I, I feel that's how to describe it. Um, so what Sensi says is Dutch apple bread, fresh sliced apple tossed in warm cinnamon, brown sugar, and rolled oats. Again, I smell like when you open up that can of, of apple pie filling, which I, I don't use that often. I usually use, I just make my, my apple pies fresh, but I've smelled it before. It's kind of like that tinny, apple-y kind of smell. So I wasn't sure about this one on cold sniff. Like it's, I would say a solid seven out of 10 on cold sniff. When I warmed it, um, this was one that I wasn't sure of. So when I warmed it, um, this one actually surprised me. Uh, this one, I actually enjoyed it warmed. It didn't smell like that tinny apple um, pie filling smell. Uh, this one I actually enjoyed. And um, 
This one, um, again, cold sniff, seven out of 10. It was pretty, of course, it, it, I would say on warming, it was about a seven out of 10. And then it did dis decrease, um, by the second day, um, I could still smell it. And I, again, I have open layout. So like my living room, uh, again, it's living room, kitchen, dining room is about 700 square feet. And we have about nine to 10 foot ceilings. And I'd only do two bars because I want to see what the scent throw is like. So again, it's, uh, it was pretty decent but by the second day it did get a lot lighter and the throw wasn't as good but I could still smell it um this one actually surprised me I wasn't sure about this one but I, I did enjoy this one now I'm not the hugest apple fan um certain apples like apple scents really have to surprise me in order to be like oh I really like that one like apple butter frosting which has been discontinued sadly and it's not in my club, so I'm very sad about that. Um, I love that one. Um, this one, it's good. Will I order it again? Um, probably not. Um, even though it was good, just because Scentsy has so many fantastic smells that I just love better than this one. I'm not gonna like grab for this one all the time. So the last one is Cashmere Leaves. So this one is delicate falling leaves, brush crisp apple with cashmere spice. So I was a little bit worried about this one because again, it has apple in it and sometimes my sniffer don't really like apple that much. Um, so this one is, so it has, it's funny because you can smell the apple, but it's not very strong. It's it's a very light apple. And then there is a spice to it. And so when I first smelt it, I was like, what is that smell? Like it smells a little bit like, I, I, I hate to say this, but, but like paint. And then my best friend was here and she goes, it smells like paint thinner. <laughs> um, So, I was a little bit worried about this, but it smelled still so good. And there was something in it that it was like the apple, like the falling leaves, apple, the spice. So I wasn't quite sure. So on cold sniff, I would say it was a, like a solid seven to eight out of 10. On warm, oh, this one was good. Um, even my, my best friend goes, I can't smell paint thinner whatsoever. And I said, I can't smell paint. Like I, I just, there was, there was, um, I couldn't smell like something that wasn't grabbing us on the cold sniff. We couldn't even smell it on the warm. So be very careful on your warm sniffs. Things are going to smell differently. And that's of course how you want them to smell. This one, um, it was surprisingly delightful when I had this one going. Um, so I would say again, my scent throw, uh, on warm was about a seven to eight out of 10. Uh, and it, it, it performed well. Um, it was, I would say Again, after the second, well, after the third day, I can still a little bit smell it. So after the second, it got lighter, as they all do, right? Um, the third day, I could still smell it, um, but it's not as strong as I wanted it to be. So, um, and that's kind of when I remove my scents anyway, or usually after the third day. Like, I um, really let mine go. Some consultants will go, like... 24 hours or two days. Um, I try to go like the three days to really get, <laughs> if I can, the scent out of it. So on cold sniff, um, my, I liked uh, cashmere leaves, then the one white pumpkin driftwood, even though I sm it smelled a little bit different to me, this cashmere leaves, I still liked it because it was something in here that I was like, that's different and I really like that. 
So uh, it was cashmere leaves, and then the one white pumpkin driftwood, and then fall into love, and then the forever fall, and then the Dutch apple bread. However, on warm, it changed a little bit, not much. Uh, my first three were still the same, so I still, cashmere leaves still stayed number one. I just love this one. Um, the second one was white pumpkin driftwood. Again, uh, I love, love these two are going into my club. Uh, if you don't know what a Scentsy club is, it's basically all of your favorite scents that go in there. So we all know that no scent is safe with Scentsy, so they can take them away and bring them back or take them away forever. So if you like something, you put it in your club and Scentsy will make it for you forever. So you can subscribe to one month, two months, three months, whenever you want them. So I put these two in my club as I do enjoy them a lot. Um, and then, Fall into Love came in third. Um, and then these two got switched up. So the Dutch Apple Bread came in fourth and Forever Fall for me was a fail at <laughs> fifth. Um, again, it was just that nuttiness smell that I, even though there's no nut, I, I just, I was not a fan. So I'll be giving this away to family, friends, whoever wants it. Um, so that's kind of how I felt about this, these, the, the Harvest Bar collection in my home. Um, these five bars did come in a pack with a cute little orange bag. However, um, the five bar collection is now sold out with the bag. However, you can still purchase the bars individually or put them in your in a pack of like buy five, get one free still. So you can still do that. They're still available. I don't know how long they'll be available for. Um, so if you want any, act on it. And um, if you have, sorry, I just had like a little bug or fly just fly by, my, by me. Um, yeah, so that was my thoughts and how I felt about the Harvest Bar collection. Um, like I said, there's gonna be only two that are gonna be going into my club. Um, and then Fall Into Love, I did really enjoy this one as well. Um, it, I, again, in the home fragrance uh, spray, I, I really did like that. The other two I will not be ordering again. Not that I didn't like the Dutch apple bread. It was just a little bit I don't know. I just, I don't know. I'll, I'll use it, but I just, in order for an apple scent to be really good, I have, yeah, it has to be really, really good in order for me to order it again. And then the forever fall was a fail for me. So those are my, uh, how I thought about everything. If you have any questions, please ask below. And, uh, if you, um, if you like this video, please hit the like and, and subscribe below. And uh, I will see you in my next video. So until next time, bye everyone.